Good morning guys. I'm along a creek here looking for flint. There's piles of rock everywhere and I'm sure there's flint here. I've already seen some. We're about to go through it hurts. There's some weird stuff along the roadside here. So I'm gonna see if I could uh, stop, jump out, and record some of it. Uh, if not, I guess I will just record it as I drive by. I don't know yet. I, I know nothing about this, so we'll see. They ate sturgeon and catfish. Birds, reptiles, amphibians, animals, and fish. Seven thousand. So there's one to replicate. Look, it starts off. Traditional homeland of the Missaquoi Abenaki tribe, many of whom still reside in the area today. Cool. Break time. Well done. It's camping right off the main road. Oh, that's the Lake George Battleground public campground. This is Tiki. Oh, that looks fun. So Lake George is literally right here. Like, it's the next right. So this is really like a tourist town then. Looks like it. Here's the entering village of Lake George. The Scotty Brothers Cafe. Lake George. There's some kind of tower down there. Adirondack Brew and uh, Pub. Brewery and Pub. Ghost Towers. Fort William Henry Ghost Tours. Fort William Henry and Museum. Cool. There's Old Cannon. Adirondack Pancake House. The Lobster Pot. We're going to have to check out this town a little bit. Oh man. Yeah, this place is hopping. Look at that crowd. Ooh. Fun park. Bumper cars. Bumper boats. Whatever wow. that is. It is packed. <laughs> this place is popular. I had no idea. Arcade. Pizza.
there some is there some kind of event going on? Because it's a Wednesday at 2.30. What is the deal? Maybe this is all Albany tourists. Mm. Or Albany vacation town. <laughs> I am overwhelmed. There's a canoe with natives. There's a f wooden fort. What? Oh, that's the Fort William Henry. That's yep. what they had the ghost tours at. Yep. So we'll have to look at the history here. They've got British flags. That's weird. I need a spot to These just guys? pull over for a minute, but everywhere it charges. So all the parking, anywhere you could pull off is they charge you. Oh, okay. They've got electric bikes. Let me just pull in here for a minute. For rent? There's a lot of native stuff. Oh my gosh. There was a... There's attractions everywhere. There was a bunch of canoes with uh, natives uh, carved out of wood back there. They got so another one here. really pull through here either. A little tree house. Um, there goes a trolley. Wow. That view. stuff this is one of the places to come to they've got everything they've got all kinds of attractions restaurants um, plenty of motels hotels. motels hotels boutiques activities uh, giant bed breakfasts yeah uh, cottages motel and cottages flapjack Pete's colossal breakfast Lots of no vacancy signs. Well, there's vacancy. So, really cool. Check that out. Book ahead. Thirsty stuff just keeps going. They've got a farmer's market today. Oh, there's a carved wooden canoe. It says, Song of Hiawatha. Things packed. The mini ha ha. <laughs> Jeez, look at that water. I had no idea that Lake George was like such a thing. I I knew it was touristy. I had no idea there would be this many people here. Like, oh, you can't really get it on camera. There's mountains and clouds rolling over them. That water is so choppy. What's the sign say here? Wow. Military dock. During French the French and Indian, Indian War. War, British and provincial troops used a dock near here for loading soldiers, artillery, and supplies. Oh, okay. Lake George Battlefield State Park. There's vultures circling. It's too much to look at, and I gotta pay attention to traffic. I'm getting a headache. There's a public beach. People swimming. Lake George de Use area. Million dollar beach. There's pirates and mermaids and an old water park. Water slide world. Looks closed. Ice cream. 
ice cream time. That place is popular. Bowling alley. And arcade. Arcade. I can't get away from these rainstorms. I'm going to Canada. So this shale slate type stuff, uh, you actually can make into arrowheads. If you're in a survival situation, you want to do some bushcraft. I know a guy uh, goes as the screen name NW Primate on Instagram who uses stuff like this and he grinds it like that and he shapes it into awesome spear points and arrowheads. Show the grinding. So he'll he'll be like this with running water over it. You don't want to inhale that stuff because it's uh, silica dust and it's very, very damaging to your lungs. But he does that underwater, I believe, and uh, makes these beautiful, beautiful spear points and arrowheads that he actually shoots from his bow. Target practices, target practices with them. I'm not sure if he hunts with them yet. But uh, check out his, his Instagram. It's NW Primate. He's got some really cool stuff. So sometimes when you see a fallen tree like this, if you suspect there being flint in the area right along the creek, if a, if a tree tips over like this, sometimes the flint cobbles will be underneath the tree. And I don't really see anything here. This all looks like shale. Shale and slate. So I'm not really seeing anything that even looks like flint here. Hold on. No, it's laid.
I'm going somewhere else tomorrow. This is nuts. After New York pizza. Yes, yes. It's been a while. Mmm. 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 Good morning, guys. I'm along a creek here looking for flint. There's piles of rock everywhere. And I'm sure there's flint here. I've already seen some just by looking with my eye. I see some right there. That vein of rock going through the white black. I'll point that up. Right there. Oh yeah. I see some other stuff I want to test. I have no idea. Just try it. It would work, but it's very, very low quality. There's some chunks in the boulder. You can see the darker spots of flint. And then there's some right there as well. And in that boulder. That piece. It feels like flint. Let's see. It's very tough. I don't know what this is. I'll try a different hammer stuff. So this is also a good piece. It's very tough flint, which is good for what I use it for. Very similar. This is lower quality, this is higher quality. But both are good for what I use for. And I just wanted some samples from this creek here. So I got two, it's enough for me. And I'm gonna head out. So the rounder ones are a little bit harder to get into because it's a tougher flint, but it's higher quality.